everyone, it's Karina Mermis, your local real estate expert, and today I have a special guest with me. Hi, this is Hal Rovner. I'm with Exit Home Key Realty as well, over here with Karina Mermis, and today we want to bring something to you. It is our inaugural episode of Lunchtime with Karina and Hal. So we appreciate yes. you all coming and joining us here. <laughs> This is exciting. Um, I think that one thing that's really neat is I'm a foodie and so is Hal. So we've been kind of thinking about doing something and we finally came up with this creative idea to, you know, do some taste testing, compare foods and talk real estate. So we're excited that you guys are here with us and I guess let's get started. Absolutely. As you guys all know, realtors, we're always eating on the go. Yes. We have no set schedule, right? Mm -hmm. It's whatever we can kind of grab and go. So. Yep. Today is a day where we kind of figured we'd start it with a couple of uh, Chick Fil A sandwiches and Popeye sandwiches. Yes. So, <laughs> so Chick Fil A and Popeye, two very popular choices depending where you're working on the island. Uh, if you're up north, you're a little bit on the Nassau Suffolk border, maybe yep. the Chick Fil A, mm. right? A little bit on the South Shore over here. That's and the Popeye. The little, yeah, Popeye. So both chicken sandwiches, both pretty good. I happen to like Chick Fil A. I like Popeyes. So <laughs> now we're gonna kind of compare. We're gonna dig into this. Um, I would have to say that the reason I like the Popeyes one, honestly, is I feel like um, it's juicier, um, and they put mayonnaise. And they usually, they're pretty good with the pickles. And I like pickles. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is good. So. Uh, well, we're going to give it a shot. I, I'm, so I'll give my evaluation of Chick-fil-A here in a second. But I know you're really set on the Popeye. I'm so. telling you, this is amazing. <laughs> right, I don't even know where to start. All right, guys, let's do this. We're going to give it a shot. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean... First of all, you can't go wrong with food. Anyway, right? Uh, it's almost <laughs> total, but that took such a big bite. But uh, you can't go wrong with uh, with Popeyes. Popeyes is good, but in my opinion, it's really second to Chick Fil A. No, uh, <laughs> all right. Now, now, but, but I'm glad you did. took a big bite because <laughs> you know that's juicy. So let's try the Chick Fil A. It's good, but listen, what makes a Chick Fil A? Okay. And there's no mayonnaise on this uh, like you have with uh, the Popeyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I encourage you guys to do, and any true Chick Fil A lover out there knows, okay, you can't have Chick Fil A without having the sauce. Yeah, if I could open this thing, I mean, this will work. Yeah, you got to have a little bit of Chick Fil A sauce right here to be able to put on. Now, what I like is that so what is this like mustard yeah it's it's more like a honey mustard i guess is it's, it yeah it's not bad though but it's they've got a patent on this stuff because all i used to be able to go and get a whole bunch of like i go to chick-fil-a mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna lie i'd order like six seven sandwiches because i'm it's not right around the corner i grab a whole bunch of them mm -hmm. so i would tell them i need like 20 chick-fil-a sauce and like mm -hmm. so we can't give you 20 chick-fil-a sauce i'm like why not it's chick-fil-a sauce so needless to say they say we'll give as many as we can all of a sudden I go back there like three weeks ago. We're only allowed to give you two. Oh, wow. So they put a cap on the chick fil -A. You see, and this is why I like Popeye's more, but that's okay. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but the chicken sandwich, now, this is, you get a little bit more of, uh, it is juicy. You do get a little bit more, I it's guess, It's a bigger crunchy. portion. It it's is. It's a bigger portion. But th this is a true chicken taste. Now, I'm going to let you take the taste first. I know this, now, is, this is Karina's first Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, by the way. I want to make this very clear. Well, not necessarily the first. This oh. is the first with the sauce. Ah, with this, I've okay. never had this sauce, and I'm a little iffy because, believe it or not, I don't really like honey mustard so much. Okay. So I don't know if this is going to kind of mess it up for me. I hope not. I hope it makes it better. But, like, even if you look at the pickles, they're so flat and little. <laughs> I feel like everything that they put in Popeye's is, like, big, and they, they want to satisfy the, the, the customer. They want to make sure you're full. They want to clog those arteries. Yes. what they want to do. <laughs> uh, but this, I feel like it's just, you know, a mini version and not as... I don't know. I think it's a leaner, juicier piece of chicken. I'm it's probably you. a healthier choice. I would say that. So if, if there's any healthy with fast food, right? Right. I, I think so. Maybe Chick Fil A is. But Maybe. all right, guys, let, let's do this. We need a drum roll, please. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I would describe that sauce. Yeah, it's not like a honey mustard, right? It's weird. It's a, it's, it's not honey mustard. But it's uh, it's like it's, tangy. Um, I don't know. I can't really tell what it is. Maybe I didn't put enough. But like, comparing mm. it honestly, 
Mm. Overall, bigger, juicier. This big. is, all right, guys. So let's talk about positives, right? So bigger and juicier, um, smaller and healthier. So it depends, I guess, on which direction you want to go. For anyone that knows me, once again, I'm a foodie, so I would go more towards this. Um, but I guess on a day that I don't want to eat too big, then I would consider Chick-fil-A. Yeah, and listen, what's great about the Chick-fil-A also, and I'm going to be real honest with everybody here, all the way over here, okay, I, one of these I bought is just a sandwich by itself. Mm -hmm. The other I bought is a meal, which comes with waffle fries and a drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, I substitute the drink for a chocolate shake. Okay. I love chocolate shakes. Mm -hmm. All right. So to be able to do that. And listen, I do love Popeye's fries. I didn't bring the fries because I ate them on the way here. I tried And you to. know, you killed me because <laughs> believe it or not, these do have more flavor, mm -hmm. but I actually like Chick-fil-A more. Do you really? So I like their sandwich, but I like their fries. See, and I like their fries because they have a little of that kick to it. Mm -hmm. And the, the waffle fries of Chick-fil-A, eh, I could go either way on. Mm -hmm. But the chocolate shake probably blows all of this stuff away. So the next time I happen to be cruising through, if it doesn't melt by the time I get here, mm -hmm. I got to bring a shake for you. Okay. But especially because I know that you are a foodie, so I have to I am. Food. I am. And um, I love my desserts. So believe it or not, though, I sound so complicated now when I think about it. Um, <laughs> I don't really do shakes. Really? And I See, that surprises really, me. It, it, it is surprising because I, it shakes are mostly milk, correct? Right, correct. Yeah. And I'm not so big on milk. Like, I like milk and cereal, okay. but... What about milk and cookies? I mean, everybody loves milk and cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Do, you, do we like chocolate chip I love chocolate chip cookies. What about those Starbucks drinks I see you bring in? I know. You know what it is? Air. It is, but I drink those once in a while. Okay. And I never finish it, actually. So I, that's really wasteful, but I never finish those. Okay. I go mostly for the cake pops. They're so good. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this was yummy. Personally, I'm sticking with my guns. I think Popeye's takes and blows away Chick-fil-A. I mean, just overall appearance, taste, everything. But um, I guess how you're stuck yeah, on your Chick-fil-A. And yes, I'm stuck with the Chick-fil-A in a bind. <laughs> I'm going to go to Popeye's because I don't have to drive all the way out to Port Jeff Station. Smithtown or Comac Popeye's is right here in my backyard. He's right advertising for them now. <laughs> it's right here in my backyard. <laughs> If they ever want to sell to a different franchise, you call me, you let me know. Okay, Karina and I, we'll, we'll do it together. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but all you realtors know, there's a lot of different food that we grab on the, on the run. Uh, whether it be chicken, it could be anything, tacos, it could be pizza. Whatever. Anything, yeah. Anything. So what we want to try to do, this is, as I said, our first episode of Lunchtime with, ha with Karina and Hal. Okay, and if you guys have suggestions of stuff that they want us to try out. I think that'd be great. Within reason, guys. It's yeah. got to be within reason. Got to. So this is really cool because it's pretty much the same product just from two different um, stores. So we, we want to do the same thing. So if we could compare hamburgers or compare something that, you know, we want to compare apples to apples yeah. just to kind of be fair. And we think that this could be really, really fun. Um so I think everything went well for our first. I think, I think so this too. This is exciting. Uh, what do you have going on with real estate? Well, real estate wise, I've got some new construction that's going to be hitting the market here sometime soon in the first half of 2022. New construction in Patrick Medford. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it should be. It's a big project that we're working on. So uh, it should be. It's definitely something to keep an eye open for. Where we're building four new houses that are going to be coming to the area in the first half of 2022. So we're pretty excited about it, mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to getting everything. We've done a lot of groundwork, so now we're just trying to get everything in order so we can break ground. Yeah. What about you? What do you got going on? Um, well, I got two new listings. One is in Bayshore. Um, we're trying to figure out the logistics with how we're going to go about doing the open house. Uh, but the second one is actually in St. James. That one is a beauty. That one is, um, we're going to be doing the open house both Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 1. Okay. It's an expanded ranch, fully renovated, has all the bells and whistles, so you guys don't want to miss out on that. And I actually have another ranch coming out in East Patchogue. That one is priced to sell. Same thing, fully renovated, top quality work. I'm looking forward to getting those pictures taken next week. So, um, I mean, overall, as you know, real estate has its ups and downs, and the, the market is, is still hot. So we're here working and eating and <laughs> trying to make the best of it, guys. So thank you so much again for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Um, we hope to continue to do this on a monthly basis. And give us an idea for next month. It's St. Patty's. So if you know of any oh, dishes... Beef. Yeah, corned beef or something. I've never had that, so that would be fun. I've never yeah, had it, good. so it'd be cool to compare. So if you guys have any suggestions, let us know. Thank you again for joining us. 
Um, I don't know if you have any. No. Hey, words. guys, thanks. <laughs> now, listen, guys, we appreciate This is as much fun for us as hopefully it was for you guys to watch. And uh, we look forward to connecting with you guys soon. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Bye, everyone.